Asato Usuki fills out a questionnaire claiming that his relationship with his mother, Mamako, is average. Masami Shuri's from the cabinet office informs Masato that he will begin a new life within a video game. Mamako, on the other hand, is transported alongside him after entering the fantasy world. The king registers them as Normal Hero and Normal Hero's mother, explaining that they were chosen based on Masato's questionnaire and transported inside the game using unexplained technology. Masato is given the option of selecting a sword, and he chooses Firmament, Holy Sword of the Great Heavens, while Mamako chooses two swords, Terra de Matter, Holy Sword of Mother Earth, and Altura, Holy Sword of Mother Ocean with the intention of using them as kitchen knives. Mamako is clearly more powerful than Masato, and she admits Shuri sent her with him for a secret reason. They begin in the Kingdom of Mamalia at the Adventurer's Guild, where the desk assistant, Shuri's, resembles Shuri's from the cabinet office in appearance and behavior. When Masato hires three girls, Mamako decides to interview them to determine which one will be a suitable future bride. Masato's chosen girls are rejected by Mamako. Instead, she enlists the help of Porta, a merchant and craftswoman. Masato then tries to reject Wise, a sage with healing and combat magic as well as a difficult personality so she teleports them away as punishment. Wise explains that the game is a mother's massively maternal multiplayer, with the goal of improving the mother and child relationship in order to return home. Wise explains that her relationship with her mother is so bad, and she wishes for Mamako to adopt her instead. Shuri's teaches Mamako how to find Masato, after which Wise is imprisoned. Mamako promises to assist Wise and her mother in their reconciliation. They decide to conquer a dungeon. She defeats several slimes, leveling up, but her clothes are dissolved. Despite her nakedness, Mamako defeats the slimes, revealing a coffin containing another Shuri's. After Wise resurrects her, she reveals herself to be Shuri's the mysterious nun and assigns them a new quest. The party goes shopping for equipment in order to prepare for their quest. Masato becomes irritated with Mamako and snaps at her, but quickly feels guilty, and Mamako forgives him. The chief of Mammon Village explains that the Empress of Night has demanded an attractive man, and asks Masato to defeat her. Masato relaxes in a hot spring, only to be joined by Mamako, Porta, and Wise, who reveals she knows something about the Empress. She then inadvertently exposes her nudity to Masato. Shuri's, meanwhile, informs the Empress that she has broken too many rules. The Empress, on the other hand, murders Shuri's. Wise tells Masato that she will face the Empress alone, and Masato tries to stop her. Still naked from the hot spring, Wise admits that the Empress is her self-centered mother, who forced her into the game and then abandoned her after she realized she could use her magic to establish a new life in the game with money and young men. Wise claims she doesn't care anymore, but Mamako knows she's lying and proves it by hugging Wise, who admits the hug feels strange because it doesn't come from her mother. Shuri's is resurrected by the party, who reveals that the Empress, real name Kazuno, is suspected of cheating. Kazuno immediately begins a fight by summoning a white room. Masato notices she is employing a hacking tool. Kazuno reveals that she intends to use it in the real world to hack her way to wealth and power. Kazuno then refuses to listen to Wise because she is still irritated. Mamako enters the room unexpectedly. Masato uses one of Porta's tools to seal Kazuno's magic after realizing he is a sage like Wise. Kazuno is overwhelmed and defeated, but Wise catches her before she falls and begs them to reconcile. Kazuno reverts to her true form, only to start arguing with Wise right away. Shuri's accepts this as a sign of the them reconciling and clearing the game, allowing Kazuno to log out. Wise, on the other hand, chooses to stay with Masato, claiming she only wants to help the party for fun. Masato decides to gain experience by enrolling in the Lover's Lane Academy. There, he meets fellow student and mage Medai, as well as her domineering mother. 
Mehimama, who constantly boasts about Medhai's abilities. Mehimama insists on attending the lesson in order to keep Medhai as the strongest student. Correct answers earn experience points but everyone is sabotaged by Medimama. By sabotaging others, Medimama claims to be the greatest parent in the world. Medhai, on the other hand, does not appear to agree. Mamako disguises herself as a student and infiltrates the school with Shuri's, the principal. Mamako sits in on the next class with Medimama who is surprised that Mamako is more concerned with her child making friends than with acing the class. Minimama tries to sabotage the class once more, but Mamako's mother's sharing skill cancels her spells. Menai laughs at her mother's failure. Mamako ends up answering all of the questions herself, and wins the class. Masato has developed feelings for Medhai. Meanwhile, Medimama starts a one-sided feud with Mamako. Masato notices Medhai making quiet disparaging remarks about Medimama. Medimama appears in a scandalous bikini in swimming class, but is easily outdone by Mamako in a school swimsuit infuriating her even more. Warriors like Wise and Mesado are told to defeat sea monsters in the pool, while crafters like Porta collect the drop items. Mamako yells encouragement, while Medimama yells criticism. Medhai loses confidence and gives up, so a monster captures Mamako and she beats it with her mother Ocean Sword allowing Masato to kill it. Masato takes first place and receives a bear hug from Mamako, while Minimama slaps Medhai for failing. Masato tries to console her, but she flees, and Masato and Mamako later see Medhai kicking a wall furiously, swearing and wishing Medimama was dead. For experience points, the Academy announces a festival that students must plan with their parents. Medimama decides to open her own cafe in response to Mamako's suggestion. Menai later approaches Masato to express her regret for her mother's behavior. Mamako's cafe is an instant success, whereas Medimama's is overlooked. She strips Medhai naked in order to attract customers, but when Masato notices this, Medimama murders him. After being revived, Masato confronts Medimama, who demands that they compete in a waitress beauty contest. Medhai wins the competition, but Mamako goes on stage to speak with Wise and accidentally defeats Medhai. Masato flees with Medhai, preventing Medimama from punishing her. Medhai admits that all she wants to do is have fun, but she has no friends because of Minimama. Masato, Wise, and Porta make the decision to be her friends. When Minimama notices this, she attacks Medai, calling her a terrible excuse for a daughter. But Mamako stops her. Medimama admits that she only pushes Medhai to be the best, so that she can claim to be the best mother. Medhai erupts in rage and transforms into a dragon upon hearing this admission. Medimama attempts to blame Masato and assaults him, but Mamako intervenes. Medhai drains all of Wise's magic and debates with Masato about his wonderful mother. Medimama tries to apologize after realizing she has been selfish but Medhai attacks her. Medhai then takes Minimama's staff and wraps herself in a protective shell. Medhai transforms back into a human after Mamako breaks the staff. Minimama apprehends her and the two reconcile. Minimama decides to log out at the Academy's graduation party, but Medhai decides to stay and become the party's healer. Masato discovers a flyer for a new tower dungeon that offers a single wish as its final prize and decides to invade it. They go to town and see that the area is filled with angry mothers. They find Shirei's nearby in a coffin. She informs them that she has no knowledge of the tower and that she suspects someone is attempting to sabotage the game. On the first few floors of the tower, they meet Amante, a member of the anti-mother party rival. Masato decides to defeat Rival and return the members to their parents because they cannot allow delinquents to obtain the wish. Shirei's suggests forming a guild in order to be strong enough to defeat the tower. They take over an old guild hall. Masato, Medhai, and Porta go shopping for building materials to repair the guild. 
only to be joined by Amante. She tries to insult them, but Menhai brings out her dark side. So Amante confesses that she sent an assassin to their new guild. Masato rushes back to the guild, only to discover Mamako about to hand over all of their money to a disguised assassin. The assassin flees, leaving behind a bomb which Mamako disarms with the skill mother's head patch. Amante appears and demands to know why her bomb did not explode, but she flees when she sees Mamako. The assassin and his team reveal that they planted bombs throughout the city and intend to detonate them unless the girls serve them as maids. Their interaction with Mamako, on the other hand, reminds them of their mothers. Finally, they agree to take down the bombs and apologize to their mothers. Mamako insists on everyone sharing a hot spring to plan their next move. But Amante bursts in, enraged at the loss of her assassins. She becomes embarrassed, however, when she sees the girls naked in the bath with Masato. Sheraz arrives at the guild, accompanied by all the mothers who volunteer to join their guild and clear the tower in exchange for the return of three of their sons. Amante plants bombs in the tower in order to kill them all, but when the mothers are late, she accidentally blows herself up by falling down the stairs. The group eventually makes it inside the tower. They make it to the next floor by climbing the rubble left by Amante's explosion, which irritates Amante. She teleports to another floor and sets a trap to electrocute anyone who uses metal weapons but accidentally electrocutes herself. Amante, who is completely disheveled and frustrated, challenges Mamako to a competition to prove she doesn't need a mother. Amante flees again after Mamako easily wins both a dishwashing and a laundry competition. On the 90th floor, they come across a trap that strips their armor, exposing everyone and their mothers in underwear. Masato is mortified to see Mamako in her underwear. Amante, also in her underwear, reveals that she turned all the children into monsters and amplified their rage so that they would attack their mothers. Menhai and Wise use magic to confuse the monsters, while Mamako uses her skill Full Mom to clothe the mothers in armor in order to find out why their children are unhappy. With the children reconciled with their mothers and life returning to normal, the assassin reveals that Amante's wish is to rid the world of all mothers. The group rushes to the 100th floor and becomes separated. Masato is attacked by imposter Mamakos, but saved by the real one. They are later reunited with Wise, Medhai, and Porta. Amante defeats the boss and then decides to take on Mamako. She reveals that her constant rejection of mothers resulted in the development of a disobedient skill that reflects all magical attacks. She then mentions Masato's inability to have the adventures and romance he desired. Masato admits that, while this is correct, he still wants to go on adventures with Mamako. Amante claims she despises all mothers, so Mamako employs a greater skill, injuring but not defeating her. Amante rushes to claim the wish, so Masato blurts out something Amante wished for, fresh eggs. Amante's wish is denied, and she flees. Shirez later reveals that Amante dropped a dark crystal that was identical to the crystals used to corrupt Wise and Medhai's mothers. She also reveals that Rival is made up of four fiends, and that now that Amante has been defeated, there are three more fiends to defeat, which she assigns as their next